Good afternoon, y'all. My name is Joe, and welcome back to Z Fighter Performance Garage. On today's vlog, our main goal is going to be getting the 2000 Dodge Viper GTS fuel pump installed, hopefully running, and running under its own power for more than a couple of seconds. So, fingers crossed, and uh, hopefully you enjoy today's video. So, what we're going to do now is pull out the old fuel pump assembly out of the Dodge Viper and we just got this one in this is the new fuel pump assembly that's going to be going into our Dodge Viper so that's what we're about to do all right let's go, let's go ahead yeah let's go ahead and pull the old fuel pump out the fuel pump assembly we're going to stick in that bucket and then we'll go ahead and start draining it The old one. All right, go ahead and bring it out and check it out. Let's see. I'm bring it up where you can see it. Uh, no, nah, we're good. Um, yeah, maybe hold that one and the uh, the new one up side by side. Okay. Here, you hold that one. I'll hold this one. Hold it like this. Yeah. The new and the old. Probably be easier just to, you probably should have stayed right there. It'd be easier just to hop up in there, right? Yeah. Um, you can go ahead and bring it in. So, um, hop up in. Are you, well, you could be able, is this all screwed in? You can just unscrew it, lean it yeah. over, put it in there, and just pour it. Yeah, it's screwed. Yeah, go ahead. Let me get the top off. All right, so when you get it up in there, just kind of bend it over. The edge right there, and then just go ahead and let her rip tater chip. All right, go ahead and just yep, and then we'll release this. Okay, go ahead. Sweet. That's coming handy. Alright, cool. Let's go ahead and fill that sucker up. A 93 octane. Yeah. Should be putting race fuel in. Race gas. You want a race car, right? Yeah. Nah, I'm just kidding. All right, let's go ahead.
So we did get the fuel pump installed. That is definitely a, a bonus. It did work. The fuel pump is priming and it is working correctly. However, we don't think we're getting fuel all the way up into the engine as far as like adequate pressure. So we do need to test that. I also think that the fuel filter is probably a little clogged. I don't know how long this car sat. I don't know, you know, pretty much anything, but we did get it running with some fuel. You can smell it. Some of the bad gas um, might be in the lines as well as a little bit was still left in the tank, but we were able to crank it over a couple of times and then uh, the battery did start going low on us. It was low from last time that we were cranking on the car. So we are going to charge the battery up and blow some compressed air through the lines as well as change the fuel filter out and we'll go forward from there. Hopefully next video we get this thing wrapped up where it's running under its own power for longer than now a say 30 seconds which is pretty much where we were able to do tonight and once we get that going we will then start wrapping up the rest of the car uh, getting the rear hatch area all put back together and getting the interior completed as far as the shifter knob the center bezel the e-brake handle uh, the actual door handles that are inside the driver's side's not there. Uh, the passenger side's all pretty much garbage. We're going to replace that with a brand new OEM one. So that's kind of where we're at for the evening. Um, and hopefully you liked today's video. If you did, please don't forget to hit the like button as well as the subscribe button. Turn on your post notifications so you get all our new video content. And we'll see you next video.